I started Rhubarb Media in the basement of my mother-in-law's house, where my family was staying in term. Home office with young kids was not working. I had to get out of the house and focus. I needed space. So I headed downtown Barry to find it. In 2007, I found a space downtown, and after a few months of signing a three-year lease with a partner, he moved on, and I was stuck with a full lease. So I decided to ask a few others, digital nomads I worked with on and off, if they'd join me in the space. Long story short, the creative space was born. Barry's first co-working space, November 2008. In 2016, I started Community Builders with a bunch of amazing people that wanted more purpose in their work. With an affordable housing crisis in our community, we thought that'd be a good place to start, but turns out that was just the beginning. We now run a construction training program for people with barriers to employment. It gives people the opportunity to find meaningful employment in the trades, and the results have been incredible. 1,100 square feet, 10 desks, can we fill up fast. 10 plus members had decided to co-work and pay a membership fee. The next year we moved to second floor, 2,400 square feet, 16 desks. We grew to 25 members and started looking for more space. In 2011, we moved to 12 Dunlop Street, 6,200 square feet, three floors, private offices, event space, and things took off. We grew to over 60 members, helped launch a space in Collingwood and consulted all over Ontario. Collaboration, public-private partnerships was always the MO. But in 2018, costs were too much. We eventually closed March, 2019. It's a dark day for us after pouring 10 years into TCS and the startup ecosystem. I decided to take a year off of startup support and just heal. I've always loved the energy in places like the Creative Space, the Sandbox, and CSI in Toronto. They seem to just attract all these incredible leaders and entrepreneurs who can collaborate and solve real community issues. I recently came back from a trip to Winnipeg's Social Enterprise Center, and I wondered what that could look like here, so I reached out to Chad. Hey Chad. Wondering if I could give you a call tomorrow to chat about a couple ideas I had for the space at 1148 Snow Valley. I'm in the renovation and planning stage and wondering if there's any interest you may have in working with me to do something creative with the space. Get it. Love to chat more if you're up for it. I said no. Actually, that's just what I said in my head. I did reply. Sure, man, can't promise anything, but always excited to help folks launch creative spaces. Call the space at 705-812-0689. I was a contractor with 20 years experience building in the community. I was an entrepreneur with 11 years experience in co-working, helping startups and building community. So I feel like I already had that first design when I came to you, really looking mm -hmm. for your feedback on yeah. making sure that it was laid out properly to uh, fit a co-working space. We uh, collaborated on a few iterations and then st you, st you went to work, building. started building. Uh, you started building. Physically, to work on building I started it. building on the marketing, branding. We didn't know what to call it first. Yeah. We had all kinds of trying names. To, trying to think of some of the old names. And of course, Canopy showed up. It started pretty well until uh, COVID hit. COVID. And that uh, stalled things just for a short period of time, but you know. Well, we, I mean, both in, in our brains, we're thinking, should we keep going, right? Because let's I just think keep we, going. I don't think we knew in the moment, but how much this space was going to be necessary coming out of something like a pandemic. Sure. How much people needed to get back together. Yeah. Yeah, to be uh, from, you know, the minute we started talking to being up and open, I think it was only nine or 10 months. Yeah, I think nine months. I'm surprised it worked, you know, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you that well. I know. We worked pretty good together. Yeah. Good team. Yeah. I think for me, it was always, I'd done this by myself for 10 plus years. It was nice to kind of have a partner in crime, but also someone who understood both 
the, the vision side, not just the practical build side. Though you were the builder, you also had the vision of entrepreneur, you know, support, social purpose, hub, community. And I agree, if I had to do this by myself, I would have been uh, yeah. lost. I wouldn't have done it, to be honest. So that was quite the journey, and now what? What's next? Well, we got this woodworking shop here, so I'm gonna reach back out to the woodworking guys and see what we can make happen there. Good tie-in uh, ideas around tiny cabin communities, building uh, little cabins for homelessness, a good tie-in again to using community builders, yeah, and the wood shop. We can definitely help with that. Yeah, maybe a, maybe a partnership with Redwood and other municipalities. Uh, I know once COVID's over, we want to make this place a spot for like entrepreneurs and social purpose startups to to work, to learn, collaborate. Collaborate, yeah. So more events. Um, really make this a hub for for Simcoe County. So it's, uh, the sky's the limit.